Hi, good evening. Good evening, sir. Oh, you can call me teacher. Good evening, teacher. Great. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, teacher. Can you see me clearly? Yes, teacher. Great. Uh, my name is Orly. What's your name? My name is Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. How old are you? I am 19 years old. Great. And I believe you are a student. Why do you want to learn English? Um, I want to learn English to improve my grammar and my speech. Great. Or you can say, I want to improve my speaking skills. Please check your chat box. I will write the words in there. I want to improve my speaking skills. Say, I want to improve my speaking skills. All right. Today, you chose Grammar Middle 32. The title is, Would you mind my closing the windows? Is that correct? Yes, teacher. All right, let's start. Let's read today's lesson. Title, repeat after me. Would you mind me? Closing the windows. Would you mind me closing the windows? Great. Please read or check today's goal. To be able to ask for a favor or permission politely talk about something you can't accept. Great. Now let's read today's phrases. Repeat after me twice. All right? Yes, teacher. Would you mind closing the door? 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 Would you mind me, my, closing the windows? Would you mind me, my, closing the windows? Would you mind me, my, closing the windows? Would you mind me, my, Closing the windows. Would you mind if I closed the windows? 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 I can't stand the noise either. 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 All right, now let's check today's grammar point. Today's grammar point is about would you mind? Are you familiar with this grammar? No, teacher. All right, let's check. So would you mind could be followed by verb ing or verb ed. Would you mind is used to ask others for a favor or permission. Let's read some examples. Repeat after me. Would you mind closing the door? Would you mind closing the door? Or would you mind if I asked you to close the door? Would you mind if I asked you to close the door? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. This pattern is used to ask someone for a favor to close the door. Understand? Yes, teacher. Let's go to the next example. Repeat after me. Would you mind me, my, closing the door? Would you mind me, my, closing the door? Or would you mind if I closed the door? Would you mind if I closed the door? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. This pattern is used to ask someone for permission to close the door. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. All right, we still have one more pattern. I can't stand plus noun. I can't stand is used to express something you cannot accept at all. Understand? Yes, teacher. Let's read the examples. I can't stand him. 
I can't stand him. I can't stand working with her. I can't stand working with her. I can't stand that noise. I can't stand that noise. All right. Do you have any questions? Um, no, sir. All right. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's now check the words and expressions. Please check the directions. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Let's read the words and phrases twice. Repeat after me. Rub. 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 You are rubbing your jaw. 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 You always rub your jaw when you think. 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 Mind. 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 Would you mind if I closed the windows? Would you mind if I closed the windows? Would you mind if I closed the windows? Would you mind if I close the windows? Attract. 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 I wonder what they are attracted by. 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 Tease. 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 I'm only teasing you. I'm only teasing you. I'm only teasing you. I'm only teasing you. Great. Let's move on to short conversation. Please check the directions. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Let's do a role play. I'm going to be Olivia. You're going to be Daniel. Okay? Yes, teacher. What's the matter? You are thinking about something, aren't you? Yeah, I am. How do you know that? You always rub your jaw when you think. Really? I guess you are right. I've been trying to think, but it's kind of too loud to think. Would you mind me closing the windows? No, not at all. I can't stand that noise either. I wonder what they are attracted by. We don't have many college kids in our neighborhood. Maybe they are attracted by the holiday lights you put on the balcony and roof. Kids and bugs always love shiny things. Ha ha ha. Would you mind if I asked you to stop talking about my lights like that? Hey, relax. I'm only teasing you. It's funny, isn't it? Great. Now we're going to exchange roles. I'm going to be Daniel. You're going to be Olivia. Okay, teacher. What's the matter? You are thinking about something, aren't you? Yeah, I am. How do you know that? You always rub your jaw when you think. Really? I guess you're right. I've been trying to think, but it's kind of too loud to think. Would you mind me closing the windows? No, not at all. I can't stand that noise either. I wonder what they are attracted by. We don't have... Teacher, I cannot read it properly. Oh, you can say many college kids. Many college kids in our neighborhood. Great. Maybe they are attracted by the holiday lights you put on the balcony and roof. Kids and bugs always love shiny things. Ha ha ha. Would you mind if I asked you to stop talking about my lights like that? Hey, relax. I'm only teasing you. It's funny, isn't it? All right. Now let's move on to question. Check the directions again. Answer the questions about the story. What was Daniel's suggestion to ease the noise? To close the windows. That's right. Okay, or you can also say, please check your chat box. Read. He'd like to close the windows to ease the noise. Uh-huh. 
Let's go to number two. Did Olivia mind the suggestion? What kind of comment did she make about the noise? No, she didn't. She That's was right. Mm-hmm. Not. Mm-hmm. Or I you can know. say she wondered. No, she didn't. She wondered what attracted the noise. Great. Let's have number three. According to Daniel, what were the young people attracted by, and why? Um, they were attracted by the holiday. Right. Very good. Or you can say. Daniel thinks that the young people were attracted by the holiday lights. Olivia had put on the balcony because kids and bags always love shiny things. Great job. Okay, do you have any questions so far? Mm, no, teacher. Let's have some exercises. Check the directions. Ask for favors and permission using would you mind plus ing. I-N-G. Okay. Before we start with this exercise, let's look at the examples first. Repeat after me. Would you mind calling him? Would you mind calling him? Would you mind if I asked you to call him? Would you mind if I asked you to call him? That's used for a favor. Okay? Okay. Would you mind me or my calling him? Would you mind me, my, calling him? Would you mind if I called him? Would you mind if I called him? That's used for permission. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Now, please have number one. Would you mind if I borrowed your phone? That's right. You can say... Would you mind if I borrowed your phone? Or you can also say, Would you mind my borrowing your phone? Could you say that again? Would you mind my borrowing your phone? Very good. How about number two? Would you mind calling our clients? That's right. Or what if you use the word contact? Would you mind contacting our pair clients? Yes. Okay, great. How about number three? Would you mind sweeping the floor? Great. Number four. Would you mind printing the documents? All right. And lastly, number five. Um, teacher, I cannot see number five. Mm-hmm. I, uh, would you mind if I dated your cousin? Very good. That's right. Okay. Anyway, let's have one more exercise. Check the directions one more time. Respond to the following questions. Okay. Let's have the example. Uh, would you mind me or my opening the windows? Mm, no. You can't open them next one would you mind if i opened the windows yes please don't open them next one would you mind closing the windows no i'll close them would you mind if i asked you to close the windows yes i won't close them all right let's have number one now would you mind me my calling your brother no you can call him great number two would you mind if i called your brother yes please do not call him all right number three would you mind emailing her no i'll email her all right and lastly would you mind if i asked you to email her Yes, I won't email her. All right, good job. Anyway, let's have the free conversation. Check the directions. 
Let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topics freely. Okay, so as we go on with this conversation, please try to use the pattern I can't stand plus noun, okay? Mm. All right, talk about okay. something that you cannot stand. Anything okay. is fine. Mm -hmm. I can't stand my homework. Can. <laughs> Why can't you stand your homework? Because it's hard. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, what is your favorite subject? I um, My favorite subject is physical education physical education okay do you do sports yes. do you play any sports yes i i played before uh-huh how about now no oh what I happened i don't um, because of the pandemic oh i'm sorry to hear that but what sports did you used to play um, I played gymnastics. Oh, I think that's uh, one of the most difficult sports, right? That we have yes. nowadays. Yes. Okay. Anyway, how did you learn gymnastics? Um, when I was in grade school, my friends, um, they, they used to call me and play. Um, we, we do bendings and sports splits and then um one of the coaches um talk to me if i want to join the gymnastics team wow interesting okay all right oh but anyway i'm afraid we don't have much time left so we're gonna end with that for now uh this time we're gonna have the review part please look at the yellow part listen carefully i will read it to you now number one here are three new words and phrases that we learned in this lesson please repeat after me thrice okay mm -hmm. check your chat box attract 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 great let's go to the next tease 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 Tease. Jaw. 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 All right. Here are words that you found difficult to pronounce. Repeat after me thrice again. Say. Asked. Ask. Asked. 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 Ask. Very good. Say neighborhood. 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 Good job. Say college. 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 All right. That's it. That's the end of the lesson for today. Do you have any questions for me? No, teacher. All right, Lisa, you did a great job. I'll call you back again soon. Take care. Goodbye. Bye, teacher.